Hey loves, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my relaxer at home. It's time for a retouch. My hair is so nappy right now. <laughs> so I'm just showing you guys kind of what my hair looks like before and the length and all of that. <laughs> so what I'm going to be using is my petroleum jelly. The relaxer I'm using is the Olive Miracle and it's the regular formula. And then some shampoo and conditioner. And one thing I highly recommend is using a deep conditioning treatment after you do a relaxer. And I'm using the one from Cantu. Now starting off, I'm just using the Vaseline and I'm putting that on the ends of my hair to protect it from the relaxer. Because I don't want to relax it again. And I'm just showing you how I put the mixture together. And basically, I'm just starting to <laughs> relax my hair and I'm just showing you guys the steps of how I do it. I like to start from the bottom and work my way up to the top of my head. I'm just focusing on the new growth. I don't want to take the relaxer down too far because those parts I already relax and I don't want to over process it. After I finish applying the relaxer, I like to smooth it down with my fingers just to make sure everything is saturated. And after that, I typically like to leave it in for about 10 minutes. After my time is up, I'm showing you guys I like to wash my hair with the neutralizing shampoo three times to make sure all the relaxer is out. And this is the result after I got out of the shower. As you can see, my hair is not extremely bone straight. I do still have a little bit of texture in it, and that's how I like to do my relaxer. There's a few spots that I miss on purpose for that reason. And after my deep conditioning treatment, I'm just putting in my leave-in conditioner, and I'm just detangling my hair. And I'm just playing with my hair, trying to show you guys how much my bangs have grown out. It's so long now. And then I like to let my hair air dry and the next day is when I start to blow dry and flat iron. So this is me in the process of flat ironing my hair. You can kind of see the parts that are just blown dry. And then that's my hair being flat ironed. After I finish the flat iron, I kind of just play with it, trying to figure out what style I want. But pretty much this is how it ends up looking after the flat ironing process. I know I really need to cut my ends very soon. I actually just did them after this video. But my hair is so much easier to maintain now. And that's pretty much how I relax my hair at home. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!